So this is a really good example of a basic robot chassis. What we've got here, this is actually a four-wheeled chassis. The house robots are all two-wheeled with the uh, extremities supported by casters. This one doesn't need casters because it's got four wheels. It's actually known as a skid steer chassis, but its basic principle and all of its drive gear is exactly the same as a, as a typical robot chassis. What we've got, we've got um, the wheels, the tires, linked through a chain, through a pulley block here, onto a pulley belt to the motor. Now this, from the motor to the tire, is known as the drivetrain. This is replicated on the other side, exactly the same on the other side here, <clears throat> and it's the turning of each motor individually that gives us the actual driving of the robot. So what happens is this motor here starts to turn, turns this belt here, which turns these outside wheels here on this side, and the robot will spin round to the left. Now the control of this side is all done by this clever little device in here. This one is a Vantec speed controller, a very accurate system and they're very reliable as well. We've been using them in the house robots now for about three or four years and if they can drive a robot as heavy as Sergeant Bashalong then they can drive most competitors robots quite happily. <coughs> we, it's all linked via a safety cutout relay here so that what happens is if there's a problem with the robot we can just turn off the whole power supply to the robot via a relay, a safety cutout relay. The other safety device, because in Robot Wars obviously safety is a crucial issue, is the safety link. The link is, uh, is effectively like a switch, but it's much more reliable than a switch, because sometimes with switches, when you have high current switches on robots, they can get damaged, they can either get smashed in the, um, in the fight process, or the two links of the switch can fuse together, so that it means the robot is permanently on. With a link like this, if this link is out, then there's no way at all that the robot can, can work. It's a very good safety device. So we have our power supply to our speed controller. Now the whole system is controlled by the trans by um, radio control. This, here it is. In this case, we're um, running on uh, 35 megahertz, this one. Um, we do run on 40 megahertz sometimes as well. <clears throat> it's a standard sort of um, eight channel radio control box. Everything is controlled, in this case, on the right-hand stick. The driving is on the right-hand stick. And uh, that's basically a general sort of uh, robot chassis.